Hi there, my name is Daniel, and in this tutorial I will demonstrate how easy it is to develop with Zen Framework 2 and Zen Studio. Zen Studio incorporates built-in tools that allow developers to use Zen Framework 2 more efficiently. You can create new Zen Framework based projects with just a few steps and minimal development time. You can create Zen Framework 2 modules, view helpers and controllers, get content assist for services, and take advantage of other Zen Framework 2 features to make your coding more productive. In this tutorial, we are going to create a sample website with a downloads page. The application will be constructed of two Zen Framework 2 modules and will use a sample service and a view helper. To follow the steps shown here, you will need Zen Studio 10 and a Zen Developer Cloud account. I encourage you to visit the tutorial page in the Zen Studio Online Help to access the project and the code used in this video. So let's get started. Our first step is to create a new local PHP project in our workspace with Zen Framework 2 content that includes a Zen Framework 2 skeleton application. We will then deploy the application on the Zen Developer Cloud. So I'm going to the menu bar and selecting File, New, Local PHP Project. In the dialog that appeared, I'm first going to name the new project and then leave the default location settings. As the project content, I'm going to select Zen Framework and Zen Framework 2 from the version drop down menu. You can also select previous Zen Framework versions. In the next dialog I'm going to define the launch settings. Now it's important to point out that in this tutorial we'll be creating our project with Zen application deployment to quickly launch the application. But this is in no way required to get your Zen Framework 2 project up and running. If you don't want to deploy the project just click finish in the previous dialog. Now I'm deploying the application on the Zen Developer Cloud, so I'm clicking the PHP Cloud icon and now I'm going to enter my Zen Developer Cloud credentials. Next I'm going to enter my SSH private key and validate the connection to the target. Since all seems to be working OK, I'm going to click Finish. Back in the Launch Settings dialog, the new target appears in the Targets list, so I'm just going to click Finish to create my project. The new project is created and displayed in the PHP Explorer represented by a Zen Framework icon. The generated project includes a Zen Framework 2 skeleton application with pre-configured dependencies, so there is no need to take any additional actions like running Composer for example before actually running the project in a browser. We are now going to deploy the application. The deployment XML file was automatically opened and displayed after the project was created, so we are going to click launch a PHP application in the testing area on the right. In the dialog that appears, we can see the target we defined earlier, so all that's left is to click Finish. The Zen Framework 2 skeleton application is deployed and launched in Zen Studio's internal browser. After being deployed for the first time, Zen Studio is configured by default to upload any changes made to the project to the cloud. So after saving your changes, all you have to do to view them is refresh your browser. We'll be seeing how this works soon. Now that we've seen our application deployed and published in the cloud, we decide we want to add a Zen Framework 2 module to handle file downloads to our site. So I'm going to right click the project in the PHP Explorer and select New Zen Framework Item. From the list of items I'm going to select Zen Module. In this new dialog that appeared I'm going to name the module and the controller Downloads and click Finish. We can see the new Downloads module in the PHP Explorer in the Projects Modules folder. Conveniently if we go to the Projects Configuration file we'll see that the newly created module is automatically registered. We're now going to configure the new module's configuration file by specifying a URL for the module to be called by. I'm going to replace this example text with a new route and save the file. Next we're going to configure the link and the button leading to the new module. To do this I'm going to access the application's entry point file and make the necessary changes. As I mentioned before, all saved changes are automatically uploaded to the cloud. Let's see how this looks in the browser. 
I'm going to click the refresh icon here at the top of the editor and then test the downloads module. Okay great but we still need to do some work here. Now let's add some variables to the modules controller. I'm going to add a files list array with two downloads, a file path variable and a file size variable. In the modules index.phtml file we'll enter a nice heading to the page and then we're going to enter for each statement for the variables defined above. As we begin typing, Zen Studio's content assist pops up and suggests the variables we defined earlier. We're getting there, the downloads module is displaying the newly defined controller variables. OK, our next step is to refactor the code from the controller file to a new download service using Zen Studio's Content Assist and the Zen Framework 2 Service Manager. In the PHP Explorer, I'm right clicking this downloads folder in the new downloads module and selecting new class. I'm going to name the new PHP class download service and define the namespace as downloads. The new PHP class is created and opened in the editor. I'm going to paste some code in it containing the service functions. In the modules controller file, I'm going to start adding a new variable to this public function. As I begin typing, Content Assist will display the get options. I'm going to select get service locator and continue typing. Now in the line below, as I continue to code, I notice that Content Assist is not displaying any of the methods defined in the download service class. This basically means that Zen Studio cannot figure out what PHP objects should be returned by the service locator. To solve this, I'm going to manually map the service name to the PHP class using the project properties. In the PHP Explorer, I'm going to right click the project and select properties. And then I'm going to select Zen Framework Service Locator. Clicking Add, I'm now going to map out the service on the PHP class. Under the Types column, Content Assist suggests the PHP class, so I'm gladly going to select it and click OK. Back in the controller file, this time pressing Control space to bring up Content Assist works. Now that we've got that out of the way, I'm going to finish developing the controller by replacing the mock data with service calls. Content Assist will help me along the way to call the PHP methods. I now need to register the service in the modules configuration file.
Again, Studio's Content Assist comes in handy. Going back to our browser, we can now see that the downloads module displays values defined in the download source. Now I don't really like the way the size of the files is displayed on this downloads page. I'd like to view this information in a more readable manner. For this purpose I'm going to create a new Zen Framework 2 view helper. In the PHP Explorer I'm right clicking this downloads folder and selecting new Zen Framework item. To select Zen view helper, I'm going to name it readable bytes. The Zen Framework 2 template is already selected so I'm just going to click finish. The new view helper is created and displayed. If we go to the configuration file, you can see that Zen Studio again conveniently registered the new item. Going back to the newly created view helper file, we're now going to configure it to help display file size in a more human friendly fashion. I'm just going to paste some code here. All that's left now is to use this view helper in the module's entry point file. Let's tamper with the file size a bit to help illustrate our point. Success. Our final step in this tutorial is to use the MVC outline view. This view provides an outline of all the Zen Framework project controllers, modules, classes, files, variables and related functions and is a great way to overview the structure and dependencies of your Zen Framework project. Open the view by going to Window, Show View, MVC Outline View. That's it for now. For more information on working with Zen Framework 2 and Zen Studio, I recommend visiting either Zen.com, the Zen Framework 2 website, or the Zen Studio online help. Thanks for watching this video.